welcome to another video. A reminder that all of my videos can be found on the Creative Media Google site or obviously on my YouTube channel. So please go over there and subscribe and get the bell on so that you get notified via email when I post a new video. So in the last uh, couple of videos, I've been talking about Premiere Pro. I showed you how to set up a new project. I'll link that video. Can you please watch that one first? Um, I'll also talk about a preferred layout uh, that you should probably um, control and manipulate and I made a second video all about that and I'll link that up there. You should probably also watch that because let's dive straight in. This is Premiere Pro, it's open, but it's not in my preferred layout. It's in the audio layout. The last person to use Premiere Pro perhaps left it like this, and it's not the layout that is gonna be most efficient for what I would like to do. So I am going to change it. If you remember, in the last video, uh, I asked you to create a preferred layout that was probably along the lines of the editing layout. So you can either click editing, or what you will hopefully have done by now is saved your own preferred layout uh, which you can then simply click uh, and it will return to that preferred layout okay and if at any point you accidentally click the wrong layout then go back to my preferred layout and there you go okay so in Premiere Pro once you've set up a new sequence once you've set up a new uh, preferred layout and you are ready to go you obviously need to start editing we can't edit anything until we've got something to edit so the next thing uh, is to import some video, okay? So there's a number of different ways you can do this. In the project panel, which hopefully in your preferred layout is in the top left-hand corner, which is where I quite like it to be. Um, you can right-click in this gray area and import that way. Or you can go to file, import, and do it that way. You will find, much like Photoshop, in Adobe Premiere Pro, there are a number of different ways to do the exact same thing. I will usually tell you my preferred way of doing it, uh, but you may find that there is another way that you quite like doing it as well. Uh, there may well be tutorials that you follow online that might say, do this same thing a slightly different way. As long as you're comfortable, as long as you're confident, please find your own style. But in terms of important footage into Premiere Pro, um, it doesn't get much more exciting than just go and file import or right click and import, okay? Once you've done that, you will get your browse window. In Mac, it looks like this. In Windows, it will look uh, more like the Windows style. And then you can navigate to wherever it is that your files are. Ideally, they should be stored uh, in a folder with uh, perhaps even some subfolders with all of the files given relevant names uh, somewhere alongside your Premiere Pro project. Uh, itself uh, but for today I'm just going to bring in some random footage which I will find uh, somewhere on my Mac uh, and then we will uh, use that as an example for today okay uh, let's have this uh, drone clip so once you've found it and you've clicked it and you've pressed import or double clicked it as I did there it will import the file you can import multiple files at a time depending on the machine you're on I would maybe not do any more than five uh, clips at a time because Premiere Pro is a very high maintenance program and it will use any excuse it can get to crash. Okay, so maybe not more than five clips at a time. I've just imported the one at the moment and you will notice that it is in the project area just kind of dumped in there. It looks quite tidy at the moment. I've only got one sequence and I've only got one clip. Gradually, very quickly in fact, over the course of editing a project, you will soon find this get quite messy. So what you might want to do is to create a new folder in Premiere Pro. Folders are called bins and you might want to call it footage. Uh, seriously. We go. Uh, or you might want a new bin called music or you might want a new bin called um, I don't know green screen um, or for my purposes let's today create a new bin called drone footage spelled correctly this time okay because you might have lots of footage with different purposes you might have footage specifically shot for the opening title sequence you might have footage shot specifically for the um bloopers maybe in fact let's just create a bloopers folder to show you that that's perhaps how you could organize that 
Okay, so I'm going to simply drag that into my drone footage folder. Uh, you'll see there's a little drop down there which I can hide at any point should I want to reveal it. Uh, and that's a little bit tidier now. Let's just say I am going to then import that other drone footage. I'm going to show you now how to highlight multiple clips at a time. You can do that where you click and, and draw a, a box, a drag box around them, or you can click one and on Mac press Command or on Windows press Control to select multiple ones should you want that one and that one and maybe not that one or let's just say let's have all three import let it do its little thing and now i've got some more footage in here again at this stage that doesn't look too untidy but as the project goes on that is going to get quite messy so i'm also now going to file that away under drone footage as well and i'm going to drop it down so that i can find the original clip i wanted which was number six Okay, I'm going to click, hold, and drag. Okay, and it will go on the timeline. Um, and I can see it on the timeline there. This next thing is, I don't know if it's got an official name, I just call it the blue thing. Okay, so if you drag the blue thing uh, left and right, you will see the footage starts to appear in the window. Okay, uh, that you... Uh, set up in your preferred layout which is called the program monitor okay so if you go left and right uh, on the footage it will preview in real time mine's not at the moment uh, this is quite a big file my Mac's been on all day it's a little bit tired okay so it's not previewing that oh there we go it's caught up a little bit okay you can kind of get the idea okay in uh, your project you are almost certainly going to film sequences where there may be some clips uh, with some untidiness at the beginning and the end, perhaps some instruction, perhaps you might be saying, right, go on, take two, do that thing again, whatever it may well be. You're probably going to have some gibberish at the beginning that you don't actually want, okay? Um, so let's say, I don't know, again, I would normally do, use the preview monitor to see exactly where I'm at. Uh, it's not playing ball today. Um, so I will uh, just guess. At that stage, let's say that that's where I want to trim this clip. Okay, there is a razor tool here in the panel. Okay, there we go. We can see that's cut up now. Uh, if you click it, it looks like a little razor. If you hover over it, it will confirm that that's the razor tool. If you click it, you can make an incision in the clip. Um, and then you can do so as and when. Again, I'm doing it randomly at the moment. Okay, and then you can split this clip up into individual clips. What is important to note that this is only doing so to the clip in reference to the timeline. It's not actually amending this original clip. So should I want to bring that back in its entirety, I can do so. So please don't feel like you've ruined the clip by cutting it in the wrong place. Now that I have clipped that up a little bit, I can find a bit that I don't want and simply delete it. Then I could bring this one closer, for example. Okay. If I didn't want to do it manually like that, where I've clicked it and I've dragged it and I've brought it left and right, there is a feature called ripple delete which if you click in any gap, it will ripple everything from the right to the left and it will move it back together, okay? Um, and again, if this is gonna preview in real time, I don't think it is. Uh, on your machines at school, uh, I imagine that will be a lot smoother. Um, it is jumping up there, it goes jumping from that straight to that, okay? Um, so there you go, that's pretty much it. That's how to import clips, that's how to organize clips, it's how to create uh, bins to put clips in, uh, it's how to drag clips onto the timeline and it's how to trim, chop and move footage around. Okay. Uh, on that note, if you did have a clip at the end that you wanted to become the clip at the beginning, then you can simply do that. Okay. So that's just a quick and simple uh, video for some Premiere Pro uh, basics at this stage. There will be subsequent videos uh, going forwards on some more intricate techniques okay thanks for watching like the video please and uh, go to my youtube channel subscribe get the bell on and i will see you in the next video thank you